So you're still seeing that page actions are temporarily disabled in your Google Webmasters account. Well, I'm sorry to hear that because I still have it too. But hey, join me in this video where I'll go through what is happening. No surprises there. And I'll also tell you that there is no fix despite what clickbait articles and videos that are out there. Also, no surprises there. But I'll definitely give you a workaround that has worked surprisingly well for me. So let's get this thing started. About two months ago, I finished up a website for a customer and headed down to Google Webmaster Tools. I mean, Google Webmasters as it's now called. Then as per usual, after setting up some steps and settings, I was ready to submit my customer's new URLs to Google's search console for indexing. I then saw that the request indexing text was grayed out and spotted a tab at the top telling me that the page actions are temporarily disabled. I then clicked on the learn more button which took me to a page that had an entry telling me that as of the 14th of October 2020, Google Webmasters has disabled this function to make room for technical updates. So that was the problem and it's an issue because of course we naturally would like to see results faster and we'd like some control over this, which we always had, but now we don't. So that was the short of it and like I said, there is no fix at the moment, but here is that workaround that I've been talking about, so let's jump in. The workaround is actually very simple and if you delve a bit deeper into what Google advises us to do while they are busy with their technical update is to, well, submit a sitemap. There really is no secret there which is surprising to see that so few people actually mention this versus people reporting a fix when there is really no fix. If you know how to do this, then you know what to do, but for the beginners or to those not sure exactly how to submit a sitemap in Google Webmasters, I'll show you how you can create a sitemap manually and submit it. I personally have to admit that I like the Rank Math SEO plugin method for WordPress or any SEO supporting Webmasters plugins in WordPress, but there's a lot to get into which I'll rather cover in another video for another time. Right now though, I'll show you how you can generate a sitemap, upload it to where it needs to be and then submitting it to Google. Okay, so for this tutorial, I've got three tabs open, which we'll be using and that is the Google Search Console. Then I've got my cPanel open so that we can access file manager. Let's go to xml-sitemaps.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, just note that uh, my WordPress installation is in a folder. In your case, you would simply just add your domain. In my case, I'm adding the folder. And we'll go ahead and click start. And when it's complete, you can just click on view sitemap details. And then you can preview the pages found in your website. If you're happy with the pages found, you can click on download sitemap. And next we'll go to our C panel. If you have a different control panel, um, basically all you'll need to access is your file manager. So head to your file manager. Next, find your public HTML folder and you can double click on it. After clicking on your public HTML folder, you can upload your sitemap here. Even in my case where I installed my WordPress installation in a different folder, it wouldn't matter as long as we specify the location when submitting our sitemap to Webmasters. So we'll click Upload. Select our sitemap and click Open. Then back in your file manager, you'll see that sitemap.xml has been imported successfully. Take note of sitemap.xml, that is the file name that we'll insert into Google Webmasters. For your installation, you'll simply add the file name and extension as sitemap.xml. In my case, I'm adding the folder too because I'm specifying the location of the sitemap.xml file.
What happens now is that Google will scan the sitemap location for the sitemap, then inspect it and find the relevant URLs within the sitemap. Then it will assign robots to go and crawl your website for content within your pages. Basic SEO stuff. It may not be the quickest method to get your content onto Google, but waiting around for Google to discover new content weeks later is much worse, so I'll take this any day. To end the video, I would like to make mention that although this method isn't as great as the old manual index submissions, but I can assure you that waiting for Google to someday index a few weeks later on is far from a solution. If you'd like an optimistic statement about submitting your sitemap, I can tell you that on average we've waited no longer than three days for our newer websites to start showing its content on Google. I'd also like to mention that submitting a sitemap is nothing new and is supposed to be standard practice so if you aren't doing this then I really recommend that you stick to this, even after Google Webmasters opens the manual submissions feature back up. I really hope you liked and enjoyed this video, until next time, thanks for watching.